Good morning. Good day, Ben. How's Daniel? Um, a bit stiff and sore, um, but yeah, he's, otherwise he's okay. What about his female partner? Um, I haven't had any contact from her. We we know uh, we know her quite well. Um, she you know considered as a bit of a family member, and yeah, I think the, the, we're a bit concerned about the, the trauma of the incident uh, regarding regarding what happened to her. And and really, uh, these things happen quite often. Um, and it's just the fact that the body cam was showed this time that that we actually see what has happened. This, uh, this is what was recorded terrific. on that body cam. <laughs> I- you okay, now let's get over ah. here. Ah. I heard a little bit. Oh, no. Deal with it. No, oh, let, let go. go. Let, let go. Deal with it, you f***ing wet. Deal with it, you f***ing wet. How angry were you when you saw that vision? Oh, you know, deal with it. You know, that's what he's just saying to them, to deal with it. You know, it's, it's, it's just amazing that the perpetrator. Um, I, I, I was very concerned. I was very harrowing to hear um, hear the screams and... Uh, we know that we had, she had a chunk of hair pulled out and um, attempted to strangle and punched. And, yeah, that's yeah, the guy's a hero. You know, when, when Daniel graduated in, uh, on 26th of August 2011, it was um, Commissioner Scipioni um, who graduated, tested the um, graduates. And he said that you leave this place to deal with the worst that society has to offer. And, yeah, he's, he certainly hit the mark there, you know, to, um, you worry about them every day. As parents, they see things that you don't want to see yourself and you don't want your kids to see. Um, he was first responded to a horrible accident outside 2GB um, on the bridge there um, a couple of years ago where a guy had died. And you, you, you do make contact with him. The um, police family, his colleagues, are a greater help to, them, to him than, than we as parents can ever be. And we're, we're very grateful for the support that they give him. Um, Jeff, what would you like to say to the New South Wales Premier on the issue of mandatory minimum sentences? Well, I, I, you know, you nearly tear the radio out of the dashboard and throw it out the window when they say they're going to review things. Um, Victoria, I believe, I think I heard you say later, have, have a six-month mandatory sentence. I mean, why can't it be done? It's, um, you know, if, if she's going to su- support police, well, let's not have a, a tokenistic support. Let's have a genuine support. It just needs to be done. Please we pass can't on have our police attack like that. No, we can't see it again, and sadly, we know that we will. Please pass on our best to Daniel, and thank you so much for coming on this morning. No worries, mate.